review of the Tenma 7210480. It's a digital control DC power supply. Uh, 0 to 30 volts at 3 amps. Um, so, this is what it looks like. It's quite long. It's got a big fan on the back. Uh, and that's the front supply. Now these are about 50 quid from CPC and Farnell, which is uh, not too bad. Um, but it is, uh, you know, you get what you pay for, I guess. So, turning it on. It doesn't seem to do much of a self-test. It kind of flickers and then comes to life. It's got five memories, but they could only afford four buttons on the front. So, you can get through them one to four and then for the fifth one you twist the adjust uh, knob now that doesn't work you can't get back out of it and it doesn't work on any of the other memories so you've got to remember the little trick to get into the fifth one um, it's also got an annoying beep um, so when you get it this this beep isn't enabled and you can turn it off holding the over current protect button and it's silent apart from the overcurrent protect button which always beeps no matter what you do and the tone of the beep seems to de depend on how quickly you press the button <laughs> so uh, there's that one the uh, user interface on this thing is a bit uh, a bit cruddy so um, let's try so we're going to memory one and I'll uh, set it to, well it's on one and a half volts to turn it on so you can tell it's on with the out light um, the one annoying thing about this power supply and I think it's really the only thing you want a power supply to do is you can't adjust the fucking thing when it's on um, that's it you can adjust it but you have to hold down or you have to press voltage and current to get the significant digit that you want then you can adjust it and if you leave it for too long you that's it, it's locked so you really can't use this if you want to ramp up and down voltages if you're testing something uh, you can't use it for that, not very easily you'd have to uh, do it very quickly or you'd have to keep pressing the voltage and current selector you can uh, change the set current um, while it's running which is good uh, if you've got the over current protection working and that does work over voltage protection also does work but uh, if you turn it on you can still adjust through that range no problem so it doesn't actually stop you adjusting it higher than your set voltage uh, it will stop you if you uh, connect voltage to the outputs that shouldn't be there um, so there are those features what else can you do with this not very much, there's a key lock um, that does that does work the only way to tell it's on is the beep uh, also it appears that when you set the lock it turns the beep back on so even if you turned it off if you set lock oh no it didn't that time ah if you unlock it 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 sets the beep. That's a bit random. Um, so we're on. We've got overcurrent protect. Take what's going on there? Uh, okay, we'll turn it on. So it's outputting 30 volts. Over voltage and overcurrent protection are on. I'm gonna turn it off. It's a fair bit quieter with it off, of course, because of the fan. But then you want that. It's not really a complaint. <laughs> you want it cooled. Um, so it lost what memory I was on, set me back to the first one. It did turn the output off, which is good. It resets with the output off. But it's also lost over voltage and over current protection. So it doesn't matter what you set these to. Uh, it loses them, so that's a bit frustrating for me. I'd rather it had the over voltage and over current protection on all the time, uh, or at least its last set value. Uh, so that's it. Uh, it is grounded to the chassis and the earth terminal on the plug. Um, you can connect these and it will give you around 3 amps. 
Uh, I've only got a crappy multimeter to test it with, um, but it will give you about three amps, and it will will actually go over thirty volts. I think I've got it to about thirty point eight, so you can set it. Uh, you can set it to thirty point one. Then you change the significant digits with these. Uh, yeah, 30, 31. Frustratingly, <laughs> you can't set it to thirty one. Oh, you can. Oh, that's that's cruddy. It's got no overflow. So if I set it to thirty point, you know, point nine, I can't go in and set it to thirty one. I've actually got to go and set this, roll that over to get to thirty one. Um, I'm not sure what happens on the lower bounds. No, similarly, you can't keep rolling down. But you can on those digits. That's that's strange. But if you know how to do it, you got the knack. You can set it to thirty one volts and get about thirty point eight out of it. Uh, and you can set it to I think three point one amps. No, see I can't roll that. I've got to go over here and roll it up, and then go over there to roll the next one. That's strange behaviour. Um, so you can get it to three point one amps. Um, and I think you get about three out of it, get it to thirty volts. So uh, yeah, that's it. I mean, it's it's got a shit UI, but it's not a bad power supply. It'll work. Um, it'll work for what I need anyway. Um, over voltage protection, you can roll through. Uh, over current protection, both of them actually work if you connect voltages or currents above your set points. Uh, and the lock occasionally re-enables. <laughs> if you're not worried, um, fifty quid. It's not bad.